Hello everyone and welcome to Kid Stars Interviews. I'm Oscar and today I'll be interviewing, interviewing Kid Stars presenter Brianna. So hey, I'm so excited for this interview. First of all, welcome Bri. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I'm really excited to be here. And we're very happy to have you here, although you have been part of this team for five years now. Yeah, sure. And hopefully many more. <laughs> First of all, how are you? I'm doing very well, thanks. How about you? I'm also doing very well, thank you. That's good. So yeah, I've got some questions for you, which I'm hoping that you can answer for us. Otherwise, we'll have no show. Yeah, that's that's very true. But don't worry, I'll be able to answer them as best as I can. Thank you. Okay, so first thing that we want to know is how did you first hear about Kid Stars and how did you become a presenter on the channel? Well, I first heard about Kid Stars through Facebook and then I checked out uh, the YouTube channel and I thought it was very, very cool. And when I heard that they were looking for presenters, I went and I asked Johnny. I had friended him on Facebook and I asked him like if I if I could be a presenter because presenting is one of my dream jobs. And so he said yes, and I did my first day back in 2017, and things went really well, and I'm still here today. Yeah, five years later, and you're still part of the team. I don't see you leaving anytime soon. Oh, neither do I, Oscar, neither do I. Oh. Okay, the next thing that we want to know is, how did you feel when the presenters got to choose their own schedules since the start of this year 2022 i was very excited about that because there were like a lot of shows that i wanted to put on my schedule like media heroes and molly denali and pinkalicious and peterific and since they got to make their own schedules i was able to add them to, to my schedule and it was just really great to see all my favorite shows on my own schedule and in fact when harry's winter schedule starts He's added Media Heroes to his schedule, and I'm very excited about that because it means I got another fan into the show, which is really, really great. Big shout out to Harry. You've made Brie a very happy girl. Yes, very happy. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think, yeah, it's just great how we. All of us presenters got to choose our own schedule since the start of this year. <laughs> yeah. Okay, next thing that we want to know is, how do you compare presenting by yourself and presenting with your co-presenters? How do you compare that? Oh, goodness, that's a difficult one. Um, I think, like, presenting by myself is just fine. Like, I can just do however way I want to. And when I'm presenting with my co-presenters, I feel like I can be like a lot more silly, a lot more happier, and just have a lot more fun. Oh, that's a very sweet answer. Yeah. Right. Question four is, um, when you're presenting with your co-presenters, who is your favorite to work with and why? I love working with you, Oscar, because you have a really silly and funny personality. And I just love working with you because I get to get some of that silliness out myself. And we can just be silly together. And it's just so much fun. Oh, oh thank you. Oh. And I suppose when you're presenting with me, you get to move about a bit more. Oh, yeah, definitely. Especially with all the dancing and the, you know, physical stuff. Yeah. And uh, the falling over, of course. <laughs> oh, yeah, the falling over is very fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, oh, I think kids love that, you know, falling over and taking tumbles. Yeah, it makes them laugh. So, it must be great for you then, if it makes you laugh and you get to do it yourself. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Okay, question five is, when new presenters join the team, what advice would you give them? 
the advice I would give them is just be yourself. Maybe be a little silly if you want to be. If you want to be serious, sometimes you can be. Just be however you want to be. Just be yourself. Great advice. Thank you. Tell that to new presenters and they'll feel right at home. Oh, definitely. OK. Now, this next one, what I think is interesting. Well, <laughs> I wrote these questions myself, but yeah. I don't think I'm bragging when I say this one's interesting. But anyway, this next question is, is there a favorite presenting link you have ever done? If so, what is it and why? I think my favorite presenting link uh, was on the 21st of September when me and you were present together. And when we were introducing Pulse and Pat and about Jess and this other cat were being playful and I was trying to demonstrate playful and I was just mm. running around my room being an absolute lunatic. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then you tried to like put on lullaby music to like cool me down. Then you snapped your fingers and I just flopped out on the bed. That was, <laughs> that was really fun. I really enjoyed doing that one. Oh. <laughs> now. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, but could you give us like a recreation of that? Uh, you having that collapsing and me just clicking my fingers. You don't have to do this. I'm just, I just thought it'd be great for our viewers. Okay. So I was just sitting here, just being all loopy and everything. And then you snapped your fingers and I was like, mm -hmm. I fell asleep. Yeah, well done. Thank you. You're right, that was fun to do. That was very fun. And uh, I know I'm I know I'm asking these questions, but I think what I really loved about that link was when the production crew put on the wrong music, which was more lovely, and I said, No, you fools, I'll make you even more excited. Yeah, that was my favorite part too. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you're right. That was a fun link to do. Yes. Now then, anyway, this next question is, if you could have a trademark outfit as a presenter, what would it be? It would probably be a Media Heroes t-shirt that I've made myself because I've made quite a few and probably a pair of jeans and a nice sparkly pair of shoes. Very nice. Now, I would give my trademark outfit, but uh, when, it, when we get to my interview, when I'm answering the questions, I just think I'm, I'm not sure if, I'm, if I'd get asked that, but I, I would give my trademark outfit. But should I tell you what it is or should we wait? Sure, go ahead. Well, if I was asked my trademark outfit, it would be, well, this jacket, a white shirt with a bolo tie, you know, those ones that cowboys wear, yeah. and um, blue trousers, um, stripy socks, and a pair of black brothel creeper shoes. Oh, wow, that sounds nice. It's an outfit I like wearing. Yeah, definitely. Now then, <clears throat> here's the next question, and it is, have you ever referred to your own YouTube channel and videos during your links? If you haven't, would you consider doing that? I actually haven't before, and I probably might, but at the same time, I don't want to drag Kidstar's viewers away from our channel, so... But if I could get some Kidstar's viewers onto my channel, that'd be great, because... I definitely needed subscribers. <laughs> I'm not that famous <laughs> on YouTube. <laughs> oh, that's a great answer. And don't be so silly. We, we all know your YouTube channel and we all know what you do on it. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I've probably referred to my own, own videos as well. <laughs> yeah. Well, obviously, I've mentioned my upcoming TV book and. Um, well, I don't know when this interview is going to come out, so it might be upcoming or might have just come out. 
Yeah, sure. And uh, I remember that we also mentioned Behave Looney during one of one of the links that we did together, actually. Yes, we did. And this next question, we're halfway through this interview. And so, okay. and this next question is, would you take over the role as the Kid Stars Joker by the time I'd left the team? I think I definitely could do it because I do like to be silly and funny. And I think I might be able to, uh, we might be able to do it. Yeah. Ah, oh, thank you. Well, I felt like by the time I'd gone, someone would have to take my place. Yeah. Like taking up, taking over the role as a telling the jokes doing the singing, the dancing, you know, the stuff I usually do on Kid Stars. Yeah. But um, as I say, I, I don't know when this interview is going to come out, So, but hopefully I'd still be, it'll come out before the 2nd of April 2023. Because... Oh, definitely, yeah. Yeah, as we all know, that's my last, sorry, Kid Stars presenting day. Yeah. Getting a wee, getting a wee bit emotional thinking about it actually. <laughs> yeah, no, me too. Right. Next question. Would you do a stage show of Kid Stars with your co-presenters and what would you like to have in it? I think that'd be really cool if we actually got to do that. I would definitely be up for it. Um in it there would be a lot of singing and dancing, a lot of jokes. And hopefully I could have some of my favorite characters in, in the show as well, like Medio Heroes or Molly of Denali. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm planning to... I'm, I'm, we're not saying that this is going to be definite. We're just saying it will be nice. And uh, I'd probably write the script and I'd make sure... Yeah, and I, there's, there's a high chance there'll be lots of singing and dancing in it. And, of course, as I'm in it, I'd... There, there will be lots of jokes and maybe some messy fun as well, like oh, custard boy. pies. <laughs> oh boy, I'd be up for that. Would you mind if I threw a custard pie in your face? Yeah, go ahead. Oh. <laughs> I'm just looking for something round. <laughs> um, uh. Don't worry, this won't take long. <laughs> we'll get back to the question shortly after. Okay. Now, there must be something we can... Um... Ah! Here we have a little sneak peek of our possible stage show. And depends on how powerful I throw it, if it's just a, a little... You could just go, oh! Or if I just go, wham! You might yeah. just go, whoa! <laughs> right. But I'm not going to tell you how hard I'm going to throw this. Okay. Right. Count with me, viewers. To three. Ready? One, two, three. Oh! Oh, oh man. Woo! Custardy. And delicious. Yes, very delicious. Oh, and I forgot to do the sound effect when the pie hit in your face. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Thank you. So there you have it, viewers. A sneak peek of our possible Kid Star stage show. Yes. Anyway, back to the interview. And this next question is. After being a Kid Stars presenter, would you like to get a job as an actual TV presenter? Yes, I would. Hopefully with neither CBB's or Channel 5's Milkshake. Because actually I like to do Milkshake more because I watched it all the time, every day since 2016. And I really enjoy the presenters on there because they're all, they all have their own different personality. And I feel like I could bring some of more Milkshake magic to to their show so yeah oh i can see you on either cbb's or milkshake yeah sure. started watching it in 2016 eh? so okay. it's a preschool channel and how old would you have been in 2016 
I started watching it in February 2016, so I would have been 16 years old at that time. Too old for Milkshake. No, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm only kidding. I know, you are. <laughs> Maybe you were just watching it to get some inspiration for your future. Yeah, probably, yeah. Well, to be honest, I watch it sometimes myself, but it's mainly for Thomas and Farm and Sam. Yeah. New episodes, of course. Oh, yeah, definitely. So, yeah. All you need to do is, like, attend, like, a, some sort of drama school, and maybe you'll be there. Yeah, hopefully. One day. Yeah, so, it'll, it'll be great to see you on either CBBS or Milkshake. Yeah. Next question. If there was a biographical film of kid stars, who would you like to play you? Oh, gosh. I think it would have to be Jen Pringle from Milkshake, because I feel like I have the same personality as her. And she's funny. She's bubbly. She's really, really happy and jolly. And I feel like I'm the same way as her. So it would definitely be great if she was able to play me in a kid star. <laughs> Well, if she can act, then maybe. Oh, I'm sure she can act. And all she needs to do is like, uh, what colors her hair? Sorry, I'm not too, I'm too aware I of what. I think hers is the same color as mine, brown. Oh, so, so is mine. So all she needs to do to get the role as you and just, well, doesn't need to do much except maybe put on a Canadian accent. Yeah, definitely. Because I presume she's British, yeah? Yeah, she is. I thought so. Right. Well, oh yeah. Next question. Have you ever been to the UK? I have never been outside of Canada at all. So no, I've never been to the UK. I've You've never outside... been outside of Canada? No, I've never been outside of Canada before. I don't have a passport or anything, so... Oh. Well, I would have thought you've had a passport at your age now. No, I don't. I've my parents never gave me one. I never asked for one. Hmm. I would. Well, you should come to the UK. I mean, there, there are so many things to see and do here. Yeah, definitely. I would like to visit the UK one day once I get over my fear of going on an airplane. <laughs> oh, that 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 could be tricky if you have a fear of flying. Yeah. You should definitely come to my area. Oh, yeah, that'd be nice. Maybe one day that might happen. I would like it to happen, of course. Yeah, me too. Because it, it will be lovely if I actually get to see you in person instead of just over a video call. Yeah, that'd be great. So all you need to do is get a passport, overcome your fear of flying, have a bit of money, and then... Yep. Maybe. Maybe one day. It'll be nice. Right. Next question. Can we be expecting any more of Brianna unboxes and Brianna interviews? The interviews, I'm not quite sure of, but I'll be doing a lot more Brianna unboxes on my YouTube channel for sure. I don't know when the next one's going to be, but it'll be soon. So keep an eye out. Great. Although, although. <laughs> When you interview someone on this channel, it could be like a, a sort of spin-off to your chat show, perhaps. Yeah. If you think about it. Yeah. Because is it two episodes that you've done of that show? Yes, two episodes. I mean, how how the people you were interviewing like got back on you and agreed? I mean, oh, you must have been shocked when they agreed. Yes, I was. I was very, very excited when they agreed. So just remind us of these people who you interviewed. So I interviewed Zoe Hatz and Wyatt White, who are both uh, child Canadian voice actors who worked on a couple of cartoons that I like to watch. Oh. You are a lucky girl to have chat to some of your heroes. Yes, definitely. Oh, and now... 
I think this might be a good question to you. Okay. If you got a call or email asking you to be part of the cast of Meteor Heroes, how would you feel? That would be absolutely amazing since Meteor Heroes is my all-time favorite show right now. And being part of the cast and crew would be a dream come true. I, I think it would be great to see you in the recording studio wearing these headphones and speaking into the microphone as a character. Yeah, that would be great. Even if I had just like one line of this little character who's seen once and then never seen again, like it would still be a dream come true for me. So, and it'd be great to see, like, in the end credits, if it said the uh, voice talents by Brianna Coulson and the rest of the, of the yeah. cast. Yeah, that would be a good dream come true. Yeah, I think you can act. I mean, I'm sure you've done acting during your presenting links here. Oh, yes, definitely. So, yeah, I think you've got the skill to be part of the Meteor Heroes cast. Mm-hmm. All I need to do is come up with a character for you to voice. Yeah. And um, we've got one more question. And just take your time on this because it is, how would you feel if there was a new series of Higgledy House and you and I were the new couple living in the house because Justin and Sarah Jane had moved out? Take your time. That would be very funny and very, very cool because... You and I, we are such a silly, happy, funny duo, and I think we could, I think we could even be even better than Justin and Sarah Jane. Better than Justin and Sarah Jane? Wow, you have the confidence. Yes, I do. So, well, that's a great answer. All we, all we need to do is write a few, some scripts, and, uh, yeah, but... Yeah, thinking about it myself, I mean, that would be fun to do, because, as you just said, we are a great pair. Yes, we are. And we are really like each other. Yes, we do. I mean, look, same hair Mm colour, same personality. Yep. And, uh, well, different nationalities. Yeah, but I don't think that matters. Yeah, I mean, apart from the nationality part, we are very much like each other. Yeah, definitely. And that's all the questions. So thank you very much for answering all those questions, Bree. Oh, no problem. I really enjoyed answering them. Well, it's it's been a pleasure having you here. Uh, I really enjoyed being here. Thank you, Oscar. It's my pleasure. And as you might have guessed, viewers, that's all from us from this episode of Kid Stars Interviews. And we'll see you again soon. Until then, it's goodbye from Bree. Bye. And it's goodbye from me. Bye. <laughs>